Hello, I'm Evgeny Yeliseev, a teacher of Russian language from RussianTheRussian.com. We start a conversation about Russian verb prefixes. As I said before, in Russian language, prefixes are used for making perfective verbs or for changing the verb meaning. This lesson will be focused on usage of the one of the most used verb prefixes, the prefix po. As a rule, this prefix doesn't change the verb meaning completely. That's why it's often used for making perfective verbs from the imperfective ones. For example, ставить – поставить, звонить – позвонить, пробовать – попробовать, целовать – поцеловать, завтракать – позавтракать, обедать – пообедать, ужинать – поужинать. Она часто тебе звонит. She often calls you. Она будет часто тебе звонить. She will often call you. Она тебе позвонит. She will call you in some particular situation. Or she will definitely call you. Антон редко целовал Марину. Антон seldom kissed Marina. But Антон поцеловал Марину и сделал ей предложение. Антон gave a kiss to Marina and made her a proposal of marriage. You can find a list of the most used Russian verbs that form perfective pairs adding the prefix po on my website. The link is in the description. I should say that when you don't know how to obtain a perfective verb, in the majority of cases you can add the prefix po to the imperfective verb. Even if you don't guess, and your sentence sounds a little bit weird, you will be completely understood in the majority of situations. Note, please, that such verbs as класть to put and вешать to hang, to hang up, change the stem forming the perfective pairs. Класть – положить, вешать – повесить. And one more exception. The verb покупать – to buy – is imperfective. Its perfective pair is купить. In Russian language, there are verbs that express getting a certain feature. As a rule, they are formed from adjectives. Красный – red, краснеть – to redden. Темный – dark, темнеть – to darken. Бледный – pale, бледнеть – to pale, to grow pale. Старый – old. Стареть – to grow old. The majority of them end in yet, and as a rule, they form perfective pairs by means of adding the prefix по. Темнеть – to darken. Потемнеть – to get dark. Стареть – to grow old. Постареть – to get old. For example, he is growing old. Он стареет. He got old. Он постарел. In some cases, verbs with the prefix по specify actions that affect only a part of the object. For example, он повредил руку. He's hurt his arm. He hasn't hurt all his arm, but we don't know exactly what part of the arm has been hurt. Other examples. Pit to drink, выпить is a perfective pair for the verb pit to drink up. But the verb попить means to drink a little amount. Есть to eat, съесть is a perfective pair for the verb есть to eat up. But the verb поесть means to have a bite of something to eat. For example, мы едим суп. We are eating soup. Мы съедим весь суп. We will eat all the soup. All the soup will be eaten. Мы поедим по дороге. We will eat something en route. We don't know how much food we will eat. Besides that, the prefix по may indicate situations that last only a certain amount of time. Сидеть – to sit. Посидеть – to sit for a while, to sit a little. 
лежать, to lie, полежать, to lie down for a while, спать, to sleep, поспать, to sleep for some time, читать, to read, почитать, to read for some time, to read a little. Я немного почитаю и пойду спать. I will read a little and go to bed. When the prefix po is a part of a verb of motion, its meaning depends on if this verb is multidirectional or unidirectional. The addition of the prefix po to a multidirectional verb of motion indicates a motion that lasts only a certain amount of time. Ходить to go to walk, походить to walk a little, to walk for a while. Бегать to run, побегать to run a little, to run for a while. Летать to fly, полетать to fly a little, to fly for a while. The addition of the prefix po to a unidirectional verb of motion specifies the beginning of the motion. Идти to go, пойти, бежать to run, побежать, лететь to fly, полететь. Compare, please. Мы полетаем над городом на вертолете. We will fly a little over the city by helicopter. But мы полетим в Рим в воскресенье. We will fly to Rome on Sunday. In some particular situations, the prefix po specifies actions performed in large measure. For example, бросать – to throw, to leave. Побросать – to throw up, to live in disorder. Они побросали все свои вещи и побежали к выходу. They left all their stuff and ran to the exit. Убивать, to kill. Поубивать, to kill one by one. Я боюсь, что он всех там поубивает. I'm afraid that he will kill everybody there one by one. Sometimes the meaning of the prefix po depends on the context. For example, гулять to walk. Мы уже погуляли. We have already walked. Here the prefix po just denotes the perfective aspect, expressing a completed action. Мы немного погуляли, и теперь мы приступаем к работе. We walked a little, and now we get to work. Here the prefix po denotes an action that lasts only a certain amount of time. And the last one. The verb походить. When it's used as an imperfective verb, it means to resemble. Он походил на своего отца. He resembled his father. But when this verb has a perfective aspect, it means to go, to walk a little and come back. Он походил немного по городу и вернулся домой. He walked a little around the city and came back home. Well, that's all for now. If you have any questions or doubts, feel free to post them in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to my channel and visit my website to get more information about the Russian language and private Russian lessons on Skype. Thanks for watching, have a nice day, see you at the next video.